Hey, hey, welcome back. You know, look at your monthly bills, and it's usually in this order, the rent or the mortgage, and then the electric bill, and then cable or satellite TV. Uh, you can save cash by cutting the cord. Natalie Reed of ModMomTV.com shows us how. You don't actually even need cable TV, which is a newsflash to a lot of young people these exactly. days. Well, it's technology. It's awesome because most people are paying $150 to $200 a month for mm -hmm. cable, and it's completely unnecessary. So right. we're going to talk about some ways that you can cut that cord and save some money. Okay. All right. Let's start with uh, uh, something called... <laughs> <laughs> An antenna. Yes. And there are broadcast stations in this market. I've heard rumors anyway. <laughs> I saw one on your roof when yeah. I got here. Uh -huh. But if you think back to old school antennas where we put the aluminum foil on them to get a great reception, right. not anymore because yeah. they have HD TV antennas. And I picked this up for $9 at Walmart, meaning you get all of the local channels mm -hmm. for free and it's only $9. So if you right. want to go totally extreme, cut the cable, that's a great way to go. Right. Now the question is how do you record your favorite shows? Because all that's going to give you is live program. Yeah, right? so you can buy, there's DVR recorders for $200, $300. I have yeah. an old TiVo in my closet that will do the trick. So okay. you can totally do that. Now, if you still want to get those premium channels like Food Network or History Channel, right. you need a streaming service, yes. but they're pretty cheap as well. Yeah. Sling TV, $20 a month, Direct TV, Hulu, Fubo. Um, and what's great with those is all you need is some type of streaming device. We've got tablets, we've got iPhones, laptops, Chromecast, Roku, all of these are awesome. Right. They're there's a PlayStation View, which is a streaming service. My boys have an old PS3. I can stream straight from there and don't even have to buy a new device. Right, right, absolutely. And, and, and some of these, uh, the services will require, like the premium channels, or, uh, if you're going to get HBO and stream it, right. you're so going to have to pay for you it. You pay more. Like Sling starts at $20 a month right. and it goes up to $35 or $40, depending on what you add. Right, and the question is, can you get those broadcast channels on that? Is uh, What I'm afraid you're going to do here is, is you're going to have 12 boxes and 13 remotes, <laughs> right. and I'm not going to be able to fit. Okay, I, I want to watch HGTV. That's this box and this remote. It's all pre streamlined, and what's great is a lot of times you can use like your iPhone as the remote. So mm -hmm. it all can be kind of connected. And what's neat is Sling and Hulu, they have the local broadcast channels as well. So it's not just HGTV mm -hmm. or wait, they can still watch you, Tim, on <laughs> Sling TV. Well, I hope so. <laughs> uh, and, and then. Uh, uh, in addition to that, finding the best streaming speed, because if you are going to be, uh, if you are doing the streaming, which means that everything is coming into your house over the internet, right? it is going to bog down and slow you down and maybe stop. Exactly. They yeah. say you need at least 25 millibytes per second if you're running megabytes, megabytes yeah. yes, per second. What you need to do before you cut that cable mm -hmm. is call up your internet service provider right. and get the best deal before you have all this stuff coming out. Right. And if, for example, if you have AT&T, AT&T has a service, they call it DirecTV Now, Yes. which I, I hear DirecTV and I think Satellite Dish this one comes in over the internet, exactly. very similar service. Yep. So we have all this information on our website at modmomtv.com, plus other ways to save tons of money in 2008. Terrific. Thanks. Thanks, Tim. Now I just have to figure out which remote I need. Right. So. <laughs>